let's learn how to open, edit, and save a multiple page PDF in Illustrator in this quick and simple tutorial. So with Illustrator open, let's go to File, Open, and locate the PDF you'd like to open. So I'm gonna show you two examples. The first is a free sample PDF I've downloaded off the internet, which may mimic a scenario you might have to deal with. A client may send you a very old PDF where you don't have the fonts, you don't have any of the source files. So we're gonna get in there and see what we can do. And then the second example then is a PDF that I have created recently. And I wanna show you the difference between opening it when the Illustrator editing capabilities have been turned on and when they've been turned off. So let's go with the sample PDF, select it, click open. I want all the pages open. So let's set the range to all. And I'm gonna check off import PDF pages. If I import the PDF pages, it's just going to embed links of the pages that I can't edit. If I check this off, I can at least attempt to edit the pages. So with these options set up, let's click OK. Now this is a likely scenario you'll come across. If you don't have the fonts installed on your machine, you will have to replace them. I'm in Illustrator 2024, and in newer versions of Illustrator, it will try to replace this automatically using Adobe Fonts. So under Missing Fonts, let's go to Replace Fonts. And from there, I can use the suggested font replacement or I can use find to select font of my choice. And once happy, click done. So let's quickly zoom out. So here's our three pages. Now there are lots of limitations here as to what we can do. Editing a PDF in Illustrator when you don't have the right formatting options can be very difficult, but let's just get in there and see what we can do. So let's use selection tool, just going to zoom in. Now, as you could see, if I click this page, everything is grouped together. So what I need to do is double click to go into the group and then double click to go in again. And now I can see the different elements on the page. So what you'll notice very quickly is that it breaks the text up into individual lines. Now you can still edit this text if you go in with the type tool and you click, you can see here I can delete, I can add new letters and so on and so forth. However, these lines are not linked in any way. I can also change the font as well. So if I use selection tool, click and drag over these sections. And then if I come to my character panel, I can, as you can see here, change the font as such. I can also change weight, kernin and so on and so forth. But remember, these are not threaded in one text box. They are separate lines. So I am going to be limited as to what I can do. Let's come back out then using this layers panel. Let's come back out to layer one. If I come across then, click this page, double click to go in. So I'm inside the group now. If I double click to go in again, I now come into the clipped groups. So here, for example, I've got an embedded image. So I can move this around. I can resize this. I can do things to this. However, as you can see, this is all happening with inside the clipped group. And I can control these different groups using the layers panel here and come in and out as such. So there you go, you can edit a multiple page PDF in Illustrator. If someone has just sent you a PDF with none of the editing capabilities preserved, but just remember, particularly within Illustrator, you are going to be very limited as to what you can do. But this hopefully gives you an idea of some of the options available to you. So let's just click to come out of this file. I'm not going to save it. So now let's try the other two. So if we go to file open, so I've got two of the same PDF here. So if I select this one and click open, so as you can see, this PDF was created in Illustrator and it was saved preserving the Illustrator editing capabilities. So the nice thing is now, now this is open. If I come in with say the type tool, I can see all this has been preserved. So I can kind of continue editing as I would if I was in the original AI source file. So if you click to come out of that, now, if I open up the other one, PDF X EXP2, let's press open. Now, again, I'm going to get that same PDF import options because the editing capabilities were turned off. So let's set all. I don't want to import the PDF pages. I want Illustrator to try to make as much of it as editable as possible. Once I'm happy, click OK. Now, here's the difference. So if I command minus to zoom out quickly, so I've got my four pages here, but as you can see, as with the first PDF we tried, everything is put into clipped groups within layers. So let's come into this page here, double click it. Here we go, I'm inside the group. Now if I double click again, I can now 
look at the different clipped groups that I have to work with. So as before, the text is technically editable, but the text box has been broken down into different lines. So I can't thread any text, but I can change font styling and so on and so forth. If I come back out to my layer one, let's come across to the home page here. Again, click, double click to go in. I'm in the group, let's double click to go in again. And you can see now I do have the different elements on the page, but they are clipped within the parent group. So I can definitely make changes, I can definitely edit this, but again, I am gonna be limited as to what I can do. Okay, so let's go back into the first PDF. So when it's time to save, you just go to File, Save As, Save on Computer. So set your save destination. Make sure your format is PDF. So I'll call this smaller PDF, EXP High 2. I'm gonna use all artboards, press Save. And then basically then, if I leave on Preserve Illustrator Editing Capabilities, I can then give this PDF to someone else who can then open it in Illustrator and make changes accordingly. Now the PDF does need to have been originally made in Illustrator. You can't just pull some generic PDF, let's say made in Acrobat, off the internet and then preserve editing capabilities because they were never there to begin with. But this is a good option to be mindful of. If you want to say create the PDF in Illustrator, then give it to someone to be able to edit in Illustrator at a later date. This will, however, add to the file size. Bear that in mind. We just come to my finder and here we go. I've located those two PDFs. So you can see the one where I preserve the capabilities is 1.2 meg and the one where I haven't is 180 kilobytes. So just bear that in mind. You are going to increase your file size if you leave the editing capabilities on. And once you're happy with all your other PDF options, you can click, simply click Save PDF to save it. So there you have it. That's how to open a multiple page PDF in Illustrator and also how to edit it and save it accordingly. As you can see with this method, particularly if someone has given you a PDF created in another program from say several years ago, you're going to be incredibly limited as to what you can do with it. So you can open it in Illustrator by not importing the links and you can technically make changes to the text and the imagery and so on and so forth. You are going to be very limited however as to what you can do so bear that in mind. Sometimes it might be worth opening the PDF in say Acrobat and trying to make the changes there but it's good to know your options and your limitations particularly if you do want to work in Illustrator. So I really hope you found that tutorial helpful. I hope that cleared up a few difficulties for you. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, keep on designing, and I will see you for the next tutorial.